I've been dating my boyfriend for eight years and I'm 22. It's our anniversary today. So I wanted to do like a cute little get ready with me question, comment, concern type of video. You know how it goes, but I wanted to make it like a fun little girl talk. Oh, I forgot about these. They like dried up and you can't even see them. I wanted to make it like a fun little video and I had all these big plans, dreams and aspirations, but then I ran out of time, of course. So now it's kind of rushy rush. Probably like 10 seconds ago, I asked you guys, I asked anyone on TikTok, I kind of just opened up the floor to, oh my God, wait, so many people ask questions, holy sh Oh my God, this is insane. Wait, I never thought that anyone was gonna ask any questions. I literally thought I was gonna be embarrassing because I was gonna be like, ask me questions. And everyone was gonna be like, we don't care, honey. That's insane in the membrane. Okay, so now that this is official and I'm literally like a relationship influencer, <laughs> I'm like so flattered. Okay, so I might put this on first, conceal and hydrate. No, you know what I'm gonna do? Okay, yeah, I know what I'm gonna do. I'm actually shocked that people ask questions. This is crazy. And I'm really so happy that I asked because now I feel so confident in this whole endeavor. So the first question is, oh my God, wait, I've never done this before and now I feel awkward. Like, should I not do it? Guys, I'm not the most serious person in the world. So forgive me if I can't be too serious, okay? First question is, what's your favorite thing about each other? My favorite thing, I mean, Casey's not here right now, but my favorite thing about him is so many things. Like he's actually my best friend in the whole world. But my favorite thing about him is how he is like the most understanding person that you will ever meet. Like if something happens, if someone, no matter what, like he's giving people chance after chance after chance, like he always just sees the best in people. And I'm really not like that. Like if someone does something to me, I'm like, okay, you're done. He is like, wait, like let's try again. Let's give them another chance. And I really love that about that, about him. And even like, he is always the first person to do anything for anyone. Like if someone needs something, he's like, oh, I could do it. Even if it means he has no time to do anything for himself, he's like, no, I'll do it. Like he's the most selfless person ever. So that's one of my favorite things about him. So many though, cause he, like I said, he's literally my best friend. Like I've never had another friend like him and he gets to be my boyfriend too for eight years. So it's crazy. And that's why we hang out all the time. We literally hang out every single day and it's because we're best friends. Like he's my best friend and I'm so happy that he's my boyfriend too. I never usually film in my room like this. So I feel like this is such a personal video. Like you guys are really getting to see who I truly am in the inside. Okay, the next question is how slash when did you guys meet? So we actually met in high school. I went to a super small Catholic high school near me. Oh my gosh, this is too dark, I'm not eating this. I went to a super small Catholic high school and he originally went to a different school and then he transferred to the same school as me because he's a copier and the rest was truly history. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> he, so he transferred to the same school and then we met actually in religion class because we went to a Catholic school. And then like, it was actually really sweet, but I had never had a boyfriend before him. And I never like, I was shocked because no one ever liked me. Like, not to my knowledge, but also like I know for a fact that no one ever liked me because I was kind of just disgusting and not disgusting, but like, I just wasn't that girl, you know? Like there were people in my grade that I feel like everyone liked and I was not one of them at all like ever i'm pretty sure people were like constantly making fun of me not sure about that but like it felt like that in my little heart and <laughs> so he came and he really truly liked me and that was the first boyfriend i ever had the next question is how did you navigate changing life phases while in your relationship that's a really good question because i feel like hold on let me find something before i say this hold on please like hold on a second are we for real? Oh yeah, let me, let me just break everything that I say actually really quick. So I feel like a lot of people think that like, oh my God, I'm having a problem. If this chair sends me to the floor, I'm going, like I'm not doing this. I feel like a lot of people think that like you can't change or grow if you're in a relationship. Like for that reason, I think a lot of people will stop dating before college just to experience things and like grow on your own, but you can definitely find a way to grow together and it's not impossible to find someone that you really love there's just no reason to be like oh yeah i'm not anymore that's unnecessary like if you want to make it work you 100 can i think the best thing that we've done is 
probably unintentionally, but like we've been able to kind of like give each other space to like do our own thing. Especially right now, he started working and he works in the city. He, he doesn't go in every day, but like it's just been really hard to see each other throughout the week. So we've kind of just been giving each other the space to like do our own thing throughout the week. And then we make our weekends really intentional and like make sure to see each other for, you know, set fun things on the weekend. I think that's another big thing is giving each other space, but then also like really being intentional with each other when we go, <laughs> I'm sorry, I've like never been this serious in my life. This is insane. I would say like the main thing that's important with this is being empathetic. I started really struggling with my mental health when I was in, oh, guys, I can't speak. I think it's really important to just give each other space, but also like make sure that when you're seeing each other, you're really intentional, try not to go on your phones as much and try to just make the most of what you have. Cause everything, it kind of happens in seasons. Like you're gonna have a season where you're both really busy and you're both trying to like do all your stuff and like get your life together. And you're still gonna be supporting each other from far, but like you might not see each other every day. Like we still live really close to each other. We live less than 20 minutes away, but like we don't see each other too much throughout the week right now because he's working and i'm working too but you know you know how it goes sorry i feel like that wasn't the best answer honestly four minute warning people oh another thing that i think about navigating the life changes is just being overly communicative with each other because like if you're going through something you might be like oh i want to deal with it on my own i want to deal with it deal with it on my own but like it could change the way you're acting towards your significant other. So I think it's important to just make sure you tell each other, keep each other in the loop. Be, oh, I'm having an off week, you know, like I might need this, this, and this. I'm really bad at doing that actually. If I was good at it, I feel like <laughs> that would make a really big difference. Like I just suck at it. Next question is, what does your boyfriend think about you making videos, content, etc.? He is very supportive. He's not judgmental at all because I probably wouldn't have done it if he was just because I feel like when you're starting content, it's so scary anyway. And then if someone's like, oh, I don't know if you should do that, you really don't want to do it. He's very supportive about like everything that I do. Even when I first started, I never was like, oh, he hates me for doing this. He doesn't love being on camera yet, <laughs> but he'll still like film me and like sometimes take the camera and be like, let me film you, let me film you, which is so sweet. Hello? I think a big thing is if your partner's doing something that you're not very interested in, whether it's for work or just like a hobby, like I feel like a lot of guys like golf, Casey just recently got into golf too. And it's like, I don't love golf, but I'll play with him. Making yourself interested or getting a little more into their hobbies, I guess. I don't know, it makes a difference. Like I love social media and I love making these videos and Casey doesn't, he doesn't love making videos and he doesn't love being on camera either, but he does it for me. And I think that doing stuff like that for your partner makes a huge difference. It might not seem like it. And it might be like, well, I'm not interested in this. So why would I pretend that I'm interested in it? But you can get into it. It's fun if you love it. I mean, it's fun if you love the person that's doing it, obviously. The next question is how do you keep things exciting? I think that having something planned, like I personally love going out to dinner and so does he. We love trying new foods. We love trying new restaurants. So like just having something planned in the come up, even if it's like a weekend to go apple picking, a weekend to drive somewhere. Just anything is fun to have on the plan, have on the docket. So then even when you're not seeing each other as much, like I think it can be frustrating if you live so close to each other and you still can't see each other as much. But when you know that something's coming up and you have something just like in the works, it's a lot easier. How do you navigate arguments and disagreements? This is a tough one because I feel like it's natural to, if you get into a disagreement, want to like not talk. At least me, I'm like super immature and I'm like, I'm not talking to you. But I think it makes the most sense to try to hash it out on the spot because you don't want to build up feelings of anything. And when you're just sitting, like when you don't know what the other person's thinking or what the other person would respond to you and you're just like coming up, like you're letting it fester, you're letting it boil. That's just never good. And there's no reason to do that. Like, I think it's always worth it to call or text and just try to hash it out or in person if you can, ideally. But like, just, you know, hash things out. Make sure that you don't, I personally love the rule, don't go to sleep angry. <laughs> Last question I think I'm gonna do is, let's see. Did you ever do long distance? If so, how did you navigate that? 
So we did do long distance for four years actually, and it really sucked. Like I hated it, but it's still worth it. Like it's not something that you should not do, but it just kind of sucks. I think same thing as what I was saying before, have something planned that you can look forward to and always know the next time you're gonna see each other. I know everyone says that, but it's really important. You know, like you just wanna know like, when am I gonna see Casey again? And if you know that, then it's a little bit easier to get through every day and like, for me, I didn't really like college at all. So just like being able to see him and like knowing the next time I was gonna see him made it a lot easier and it made me a lot happier throughout the weeks, throughout the days, because then I had something to like live for, you know? Like some reason to be there. And also just like overly communicate. Some people like to do like, oh, we don't text all day and then we just call at the end of the day. We were big texters just because it's so much easier for us to just like, if we're thinking something, say it. Like, I have a horrible memory, so I cannot be trusted to like remember all the stuff that happened throughout my day. Are you nuts? Like I would never remember any of it. So it was easier for us. Just find what works for you in terms of communication. If you think it's easier to just call at the end of the day, then do that. If you think it's easier to text throughout the day or do both. Cause me and Casey would do both sometimes. I need to move. It's 7, 11. So excited to do our gifts. So he, I'll tell you guys what I got him fine. He kept on asking me to make him a bunch of outfits and I just wasn't doing it because I didn't feel like it. And I don't really like doing boys outfits. Like it's kind of boring to me cause I can't wear them. So selfish, I know. <laughs> but I finally did them. I made him like Casey's capsule wardrobe and I did a bunch of links. I did one link that was like the version that I found and then I did links that are more affordable. So I did like a ton of that and then I got him. He's like obsessed with golf right now, like I said. So I got him this like golf net so you could practice at home. It's like a thing that you could do at home. I don't know, he'll know what it is. And that's it, so excited. I'm so happy that I had all these questions. Oh my God, you guys flattered me. I need to find a jacket to wear. And I also kind of want to go over my hair. Can I wear this jacket or is it too much? Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice, being young and female. Ugh, I have to wear this jacket, it's so cute. Ow! Oh my God. Oh, I still have to put my boots on, this is insane. I have no time for this shit. How does my hair get so naughty in five seconds? I just also thought of this, it's important to, oh my God, I thought of it and I forgot it at the same time. What was I gonna say? I literally thought of it and I was like, yes, I have to tell them. You wanna be comfortable with the other person, but you don't wanna be so comfortable that like you start treating them like a friend. You know what I mean? Like we're best friends, but also you don't want it to be like so comfortable that you don't flirt with each other and do all that stuff. And also make sure that you're still like trying hard for dates and getting all dressed up. He gets all dressed up. Like that makes a big difference because you might wanna just stay in sweatpants, but it makes a difference to like get dressed up for each other, put in your effort and work. Let me just show you the outfit and then we'll leave. I can't get my boots zipped, but I also had to move all my lights for this video. Look. Hi, girl math, because it's so dark, but this is it. Because <gasps> you're, I love this outfit. This is really cute, but I can't. My room's also messy. I can't get my boots zipped. All right, let's go. Wish me luck. I'm going on a date. Bye. Love you. You're so smart, a stand-up role. I'll think about your offer, let you know.